Okay, eighth grade. I'm going to give you some ideas for modeling what we did today with the shadows and the light um, and geometer sketch pad. And you may do some other stuff, but this is just maybe might get you started. So I saw something Andy did that I thought was really cool. He, um, he made a grid, and I thought that was kind of handy. And I decided that because you can't zoom in and out on Geometer Sketchpad, which is a little annoying, I was going to have all of our dimensions that we had today. So um, I was going to make this little dot represent the mag light and just put it on the zero line. And then I was going to take a little line and, and make it represent the filament because remember the filament was a little bit bigger and then I can go out here to 25 which is again we were 50 centimeters away so if I go to 25 that's half I figure that's uh, again having everything makes it a little bit easier to see and I'm going to construct a perpendicular so that's our screen and then I can make a blocking object so I can come out here to 20. This is 5 away, so it's scaled down. It's really 10 away. And then I can come up here and I can make a little segment to represent the blocker. Now the blocker was about a centimeter, so that's a little bit too long. I can shorten it a little bit and just I can use the grid. I don't have to measure everything exactly if I don't want to. Um, and then I can move it down so that it's kind of right in the middle of where the light is. And then I can take a ray and have the ray kind of go past the top, same ray past the bottom. I can give some points to these junctions and I can have it measure the distance here because I think that is a value. So if I put that over there. Because then I can go and I can take this thing and I can move it backwards and forwards and I can see what's happening there so that's kinda cool now I have to make it I'm gonna make a different screen down here um, again I might have started at 20 blocker I mean not a different screen a different blocker so that's pretty close and again you can move it around and you know it doesn't have to be perfect but it should should be giving you an idea and this is the part that I'm going to challenge you to think really hard about. What is this filament and where do I need to put lines in to show what's happening on this screen? So I'm going to leave you to think about that a little bit, but this at least gives you some idea about how you might set up a file to start exploring.